Welcome to uh, Let's Play Descent Maximum. It's also known as Descent 2 in some regions. Uh, playing this on my PlayStation 3 because I can. That means I'm going to have to suffer from the most horrible controls ever. As you will soon see, the storyline is exactly the same as it was in Descent 2. So let's take a watch. Station MIL-132. Request clearance to dock. Vertigo-1, please confirm security clearance A-7. Affirmative. Transmitting now. Vertigo-1, you are cleared for docking bay 3. You're the honest, we need that much security. Material Defender, I trust your transit to this station was recuperative. Your concern is as underwhelming as ever, Dravis. We have traced the alien infestation's vector from our holdings in the Zeta Aquilae system, where we require you to gather reconnaissance information. We are fitting your ship with a warp drive prototype for the jump. Oh, I've already fulfilled my contractual obligations, Dravis. I'm not doing any more of your dirty work. Ah, yes, your primary obligations have indeed been met, but... If you study your standard mercenary agreement, you will notice that the PTMC reserves the right to keep you on retainer for up to 72 hours post mission. Dravis, you son of a... If you choose to decline further service, we may consider you in default of your contract, and your fee may be suspended pending litigation. Good luck, material defender. Dravis, out. Take note, viewers. Always read the fine print before you sign your contracts. I knew it! I knew PTMC would find a way to cheat me. I go on. Proceed to jump point out. Yeah, I couldn't care less if they sue me. But they left me with no choice if I want my money. Initiate a jump free sequence. And here I thought indentured servitude ended in the 21st century. I only hope this is just a reconnaissance mission and nothing more. I go on. You are clear to proceed to Zeta Aquilae. I actually bothered to rerun the video. <laughs> Don't be bothered to uh, change the story though, just rerun the video. guide bot. I won't be using it because the mines are too small, so I don't actually need his assistance. This guy won't be much of a threat. These guys are a little hard to hit. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. These guys won't be too much of a threat either. And 
That's it. Red for body open to do C D for the level. Yeah, I kinda of prefer to be. I'll probably be killing a lot of those guys just by running into them. A little description of the controls. Basically, if you look at the face of the PlayStation controller, you can kinda of make out two uh, digital D pads. Yep, that's right, you have to use both of them. Yeah, I see you're gonna walk, walk in there, but uh, you need to uh, switch to our crazy uh, switch weapon to it hold select and then your fire key. Make sure try to attack a lot of controls in there, but you need to. I also will notice that the levels are a little dark in this game. I don't remember the set to be quite this dark. I don't know if you can trade it. I don't know if you can which had a razor level 2. Now I'll help out a little bit. I didn't. They were they were pretty much right next to the red key door. They were certain the door was certainly on screen. There was I think one hostage and a health thing in there. Yeah. Okay. Did they get rid of the insane difficulty? Yeah, they got rid of the insane difficulty in here, probably because no one would be able to play it. <laughs> All right, these guys. I don't really remember them being much of a problem. I wanted to annoy the fast movers and I had to deal with these controls. Next to the force field, I don't know why they continue to do that. But okay. 
Okay.